Good morning and welcome to Integrity Cells and Services. Folks, John and I are excited to give you another nice video today. Folks, we're welcome aboard. We're going to give you a nice video today of a 1999 Freightliner FL80 tandem axle grain truck. John's going to go ahead for starters and fire up this big cat engine so that you can hear and see it run. And then we're going to take you for a grand tour around the entire truck, inside and out, top to bottom, so that you know, folks, what you're buying. Come along here. John's going to open the hood up next and let us have a look at the motor oil, the blow-by, and the whole shooting match. So come up here. Going to help John lift the hood up. And we're going to take a look at the motor oil next. John's going to pull the dipstick out for us and let you have a look. Now, folks, I want you to pay special attention. I'm going to come up close here. Now, look at that. You can see right through that oil onto the dipstick. It's that clear. Folks, take a look at the blow-by. Now, as you can see there, folks, in the video, there's absolutely zero blow-by escaping this motor. Folks, it's a beautiful day out here, and we're going to enjoy these moments to give you a nice detailed video. John's going to shut off the engine so we can hear better, and let's start right here on this left front steer tire, folks. I can't think of a better place than to show you these nice 90% steer tires, 22 fives. Look at that nice deep matching tread. Come on down, take a look. You can see the proof that we've just greased everything. There's your fresh grease around. And no, it's not been washed to hide anything. This is the way you get it. Take a look down there. You can see the evidence of a brand new PTO in here, along with the grain box and all. Look around the engine. You can see evidence that it's been freshly serviced. It has not been painted. And folks, somebody has been into this motor once in its life. There's evidence of new rocker box on top of there. There's lots of new gaskets. Folks, it's a nice, impressive, clean unit. Overall, folks, it's going to make someone a nice, tight grain truck. Come on around and take a look at the passenger side. As I stated earlier, you're going to see here that it's all matching rubber tire tread percentages. Again, proof of the new oil filter. And look along the motor. It has not been all painted up. You're seeing it in absolute work clothes. Folks, this is how the truck is, this is how it performs, and this is what you're buying. It's nice and tight. You can see the evidence of the coolant being up right here. John's going to go ahead and put the hood down, and we're going to continue around the truck. Okay, folks, let's back off here one minute and get your attention. I want you to take a look how square everything stands up between the hood, the bumper, the cab, the stainless mirrors. It's all here. No cracks on the grills or the headlight bezels. No damage in the paint around it. Look at this beautiful blue painted cab, folks. Stainless heated mirrors. I'm telling you, you're going to go a long way to find a duplication to this. It, anyway, you're not going to find one in better shape. Not a 1999, folks. Look at it. Now, let's get on to the more spectacular part of this deal. Folks, what you're viewing here, John's going to take his finger along here and show you, but this is a brand new welded constructed body by Integrity Manufacturing. Folks, what you're about to see here is our time-tested stamped rib design single wall side with all solid welded construction. Now look at that where John's pointing. There is no skip welding and no caulking. Ladies and gentlemen, this truck is built to last on the farm, off-road use, year after year. We have been building these grain bodies like this since 1982. It's a time-tested, stamped-ribbed, all-solid welded design, folks, with no overlapping of steel anywhere. Therefore, you're not ever going to rust it out. Later on in the video, we'll show you the underside construction as well, which is very, very impressive. Let's zip on around. As you can see, these nice 22.5 drive tires. Look at the meaty drives on there. Folks, John's going to go ahead now and give you a nice demonstration of our back doors. Look at that. We have three clean-out grain doors. The center door has an extension chute on it. Folks, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead, John, and open up the trifold cargo doors now and let them have a look at the inside. Now, folks, as easy as you can see this, John can just open up the entire back end in a flash. Look at this, how easy this is to operate. Folks, if you want to carry containers or palletized material, whatever, in the back, you can do it. John, point out how this sucker cleans out about the tarp bow construction and everything else. Well, you can see the tarp bow construction up there, second to none. It's just a sturdy tarp bow construction, holds the tarp up, rain falls off real nice and easy. You raise this bed up, it's easy clean out. There are no corners. The corners are all slanted here. The, uh, whatever you have in here is going to slide out real well. 
nice and easy, nice and clean. It's just a, a stamped rib design. It's just second to none. Folks, as John just stated, we have all farmed for years. We use these suckers on the farm and we know what it takes. You can just see how well this all cleans out. There's no lip here where the grain comes off. Folks, it will do the job for you year after year. All light system in here and rubber grommet sealed system. Take a look for yourself. I'm going to pop on down while John closes the doors and show you some things underneath. Folks, when last have you seen an undercarriage and the differentials with no rust on them like this? This sucker is clean. Nice four back air ride suspension. It has the suspension dump valve built into the dash. I'll show you that later. Folks, take a look in here. There you can see the brakes somewhere at 60% remaining on the drive axles here, 60 to 70%. Very nice and clean and respectable underneath here. Folks, again, the chassis has not been painted to obstruct your view of seeing what this truck actually is. Folks, the body itself is brand new along with the hoist. Now, while I continue up this side, John's going to go ahead and jump in the cab, fire the truck up, engage the PTO, and he's going to run the bed up for us so that we can take a look. Then he'll shut it off before we take off for a test drive and let you see that it also drives very well. Now, folks, let's come on up this side. Take a look at this beautiful paint on this side as well. You can see all the way around this truck, folks, we have spared nothing to give you a nice unit. Now, look at that, folks air operated hoist works just as smooth as silk man I'm telling you look at that sucker go up very quiet very smooth and folks why not it's all brand new and it's built with integrity folks check it out for yourself that twin cylinder hoist is gonna lift that load for you time after time year after year flawlessly folks with that John's gonna shut the truck off so we can hear better in the video I'm going to come up close here now and we're going to give you a pristine look at this sucker from the bottom side. Folks, look at the back of the cab. Again, another impressive area for the back of a cab. Air ride cabs. We're going to ride awesome. Nice heavy duty single frame so you never have to worry about rust between the frame rails. Look at that brand new. Look at that heavy duty hoist. Now you tell me when you've last seen something like this put together by professionals that have done this for years. Folks, come on back. I want to come on back and show you some construction of the body on the bottom side. Now folks, most competitors are using a simple C-channel for their long rail. We use an absolute junior I-beam. This is an 8-inch I-beam. There you can see the inside of the I-beam. It's not just a C-channel. This is absolutely an I-beam. You'll never bend this sucker, folks. Look at the heavy-duty hinge construction. You have some inch and a half pins going through there. You'll never have to be afraid of breaking this apart. Folks, next I want to point out another impressive feature. We use absolute C-channel cross members, folks. These are not a cheap stamped rib design that sits full of water. You've seen so many of these cheap cross members that have a U-lip on the bottom of them, and in about five years, they're rusting out. Folks, these are absolute C-channel cross members with a beveled lip on the bottom, so if you wash them, the water is going to run off. With that, John's going to go ahead and start dropping the bed back down, and I'm going to join him in the passenger side and folks, we're going to let you see this truck run down the road as well as what you've already seen. We're going to cap this off by letting you see it run, driving, and shifting flawlessly. Now look at that. The control is right here by the driver's door. You don't have to get in and out of the truck. And there's an option on this available if you want a rear bed control. We can do that for just a few bucks more. Just ask. Folks, look how nice and fast that sucker comes down. Smooth. Creaking is not a part of it. It's just solid welded construction. Again, time tested for flawless use year, year after year. Folks, look at the nice steps. John will show you. You can climb up the, out the door and easily access the steps. Go right up the side of the bed. Look at that. Now that is impressive. Check that out. Folks, I'm going to give you a real quick look at the driver's side here in the, in the cab, and then we'll continue. As you can see, there's absolutely no rust on the bottom of the cab. Just beautiful door panels. I'm telling you, look at this for yourself. Let's pop up here, take a look at the beautiful immaculate seat covers, headliner, everything. Just amazingly clean for a 1999. 
Folks, full 10 speed, excuse me, 9 speed transmission. There's your shift pattern. Folks, she's set up with cruise control. Over on this side, we have the suspension dump valve, then the differential lock for off road use. Folks, with that, I'm going to go ahead and join John on the other side of the cab, and we're going to take you for a nice test drive. So come along and enjoy. Where again, the idea of this video, folks, is not to try to persuade you of anything. It's only to give you total and complete transparency of what we're offering here today for sale. Folks, come on in and let's join John in the cab. He's getting her fired up and here we go. John, I'm going to let you talk about how nice she shifts and everything as we head out of here. It's a nice, nice tight transmission. I've already had this truck out on the road, but I got it in granting gear right now, folks. I want to tell you, this thing is just, you can inch this thing out of the field at one mile an hour, two mile an hour. A lot of farmers, we're all aware of that. In the field, we need that granny gear to get it to the road. You've got it. I've got it in granny gear right now, and I'm hardly moving. Folks, that is absolutely so true. Without a low gear, you're going to take out clutches. So folks, I know that anybody can slap a grain body on any kind of a chassis. But what we do here, folks, that sets us aside is we take pride in making sure that we only use the proper chassis so that in the long run you have no problems. Now look at this, guys. Just shifting this sucker smooth as silk, pulling right out here in our nice country road. I'm telling you, it is a nice truck. John's not even using the clutch on this. Look at that. Flawlessly power shifts this girl from one gear to the next. It's truly amazing. I'm just telling you, it's truly an amazing truck. Just take a look for yourself here. Whipping right out here, barely left the lot, coming up on 40 miles per hour already. And folks, I'm gonna come over here and show you the oil pressure. Take a look there, 50 pounds of oil pressure, cruising right down the road here. John can show you, he can pop his hand off the wheel. She stays straight down the road. Now, folks, with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video by telling you thank you for shopping Integrity Sales and Services. We welcome your phone call. We're standing by to take it now. These trucks don't last. It's tough to find the chassis. Just give us a call at 260-238-5000 and visit our website at www. 99trucks.com. That's the two number nines and the word trucks. T R U C K S dot com. Folks, thanks again for shopping Integrity Cells, and you have yourself a wonderful day.